Now let's understand the relation between the marginal utility curve and the total utility curve. We'll understand this with the help of the graph. What we'll do is we'll plot the points on a graph. We take marginal utility and our coordinates will be 1 and 20. 1 is the commodity, the number of commodities that we are consuming and 20 is the marginal utility. So on x-axis we have commodity in units and on y-axis we have mu and tu. So let's plot the point. Let's plot the points. Our first coordinate is 1 and 20. So 1 on x-axis and 20 on y-axis. So we get the point here. The next point, the next point is 2 and 15. 2 on x-axis and 15 on y. So the next point is here. 3 and 10. 3 and 10. So this is the point. 4 and 5. 4 and 5. This is the point. 5 and 0. It will be on x axis. 6 and minus 5. Now we are getting into the negative. 6 and minus 5. 7 and minus 10. This would be the point. So when we join all these, when we join all these points, we get a curve. And this curve is called the marginal utility curve. Likewise, we will take the coordinates for total utility that is 1 and 20, 2 and 35, 3 and 45, 4 and 50, 5 and 50 again, 6 and 45 and 7 and 35 and if we join all these points we'll get a curve and this curve will be known as the total utility curve. Now let's understand how are they related with each other. If you take a close look, you can see that the marginal utility curve is constantly going down. A marginal utility curve is constantly going down. So, we can say that the marginal utility curve always has a downward slope. It slopes downward from left to right. And why does it slope downward from left to right? Because as you go on increasing the commodities, the satisfaction level with each commodity goes on diminishing. So it will always be falling. However, the total utility curve initially goes on rising. It rises but up to a certain level. After that level, it becomes constant and when the marginal utility cuts the x-axis that is it becomes zero the total utility is maximum the total utility at the point where the marginal utility curve cuts the x-axis that is the marginal utility is zero there the total utility will be maximum and that point is known as the point of satiety or the point of 
maximum satisfaction this point o is the point of satiety or the point of maximum satisfaction now again if you take a close look the tu starts to fall after the point of satiety correspondingly mu goes below the x axis now once mu goes below the x axis tu starts to fall so this is how the mu curve and tu curve are related when the mu curve is declining tu curve goes on increasing it goes on rising after a certain level the tu curve stabilizes it becomes constant and when the mu curve touches the x axis there the tu curve is at its maximum point and this point is known as the point of satiety after this when mu goes below the x axis when mu curve falls below the x axis the tu curve starts to fall 